Welcome to the map building process. This is the first step of any plan. This is where you're going to give us your property lines, your access points, any other parts of the property that you feel are important. So the first step, when it pulls this up, you're going to have a real far zoomed out view of the planet Earth. And you need to take the plus button over here on the right hand side of the screen down towards the bottom. You need to zoom in on your property. If, when you need to move the map, you click this hand icon, you hold it down, and you can move the map around the United States or wherever you're at to find where your property is. Once you find where you're at, again, hit the plus button, zoom in. So you got a good look at your property. And here we are. Take the line tool, click the line tool up top, click, just click on the corners. One corner, two corners, three corners, four corners, and then double click to finish it off. That's our property lines. You can write that in there if you want. But we're going to know what the property lines are. Next thing I want to have, very important, is access. So i got to move the map a little bit again, so I click on the button there, and I take my icon here, and I write access, road access, because I have a road on my north line, public road. And the other thing I write is, click on there, west road access, because I have access from that road. Those are the two sides I can access from the property now, very important for the planners to know. Now we can add anything else we want to on this mapping system. I can take click on this polygon tool and I can let the planners know that this is a food plot, or maybe it's a cornfield, or maybe it's rotated between corn and beans. Put whatever you want inside there. Trail system is also important. So I go back to the line tool again, and I have a trail system where I can get in here. Takes me into this woods. Takes me through the property. Wherever there's a trail system that's in there, let the planners know, and they're going to work with it as best they can. Trails. All right. I'm going to go back to this marking pin here because I can write whatever I want right there, and I can put a pin right here, and I can write nine apple trees because I have some apple trees there I want the guys to know about I can put something like this here I can click a pin here and put a man made water hole okay we can add whatever we want to this mapping application just fill it up as much as you want and when you get done with that you scroll down to the bottom here you're going to type your name in phone number Sean likes to text a lot for these plans very important plus we're going to have a lot of phone time together if you place a plan couple hours in some cases, even more. Email address, we have that. Don't need map size, put a map name on here because it's required. Additional information, uh, West Neighbors, West Neighbors Hunt, Hard Kill, Lots, um, Lots Little Bucks at Night. Etc. Etc. Anything that's important that you want the planners to know you put in there. And once you fill this out, as soon as you hit the send button, it's going to send all this information to us. Now, if you make a mistake on the map, simply click on the hand, click on the whatever one you want to change. You can edit the text. You can delete it. If I hit delete, it disappears. Now that water hole's gone. If I don't have access here, I can hit delete and that's gone. Or I can change this or I can put more stuff in the description here. So, didn't want to do that. Change my name, which is okay. I'll change it back. So that's a map building application and first step for us to gain some working knowledge for your land and again when we hit send and this isn't we're going to get more information from you later of course but when you hit send it says thank you for your message it has been sent what that does is it's sending us a file that we can use in our in our lidar based topo mapping we use it for our 20 year timber history report timber harvest report in your area and we also use it in a couple other mapping applications that we use to start your plans so this is the first step it gets us on the road let's just share a lot of information and then we can get started and get in contact with you and start to plan forward